So here's a video on how to test whether your DVR is working or not. You take it out of the box. When we send them out to show you how we test them, there's a security camera watching this station where we test every DVR on the monitor right over there to make sure it turns on before we ship it out. So it's really important when you get the DVR, you use the power supply that comes with it because if you don't, it's not gonna turn on. So right now my DVR is not turning on. The first thing I'll do is there's a power button here. After I connect the power supply that comes with it, I'm gonna press this power button to make sure that that's not the reason the thing is not turning on. Once I did that, I've got a blue light right over there. That blue light means the DVR is on. These two lights, they just mean that something is abnormal. If that, there's a network light here on this particular DVR in the middle, that'll light up if you don't have a network connected and a HDD light on the left-hand side right here, that'll turn on if your hard drive is not connected. So right now, I don't have a hard drive. Those lights will turn on, and the network is not connected either. They'll turn on as well. A properly functioning DVR, as it boots up, will display an XVR or a DVR screen just like that. It may or may not beep. The beeps are not significant anymore. Um, if you don't have a hard drive, it'll keep on beeping, annoyingly, every 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So while it turns on, the other thing you want to look at is there's a fan on many of those DVRs. The location is different, but you can actually hear it most of the time by putting your ear next to it to see if it's humming or not. Unfortunately, because there's too much noise happening here, but that's the fan definitely, and I can actually hear it when it's quiet. A properly functioning DVR will turn on and you'll get this grid display screen. It'll stay static like that, it won't change around. That means it's properly displaying video. You do need a 1080p monitor to display the output from our DVRs. Now, what if you're not getting an output? You wanna make sure it's turning on. That's the light. These two lights just mean they're not connected. The other thing is you wanna use the power supply. Power supplies we use are different brands, but they all work because we test the individual power supply that comes inside of the DVR accessories box in here. The power supply that comes in there, we use that to test the DVR before it ships out to ensure there is no DOA. So if you have not used the power supply that came in the box, you will cause damage to the DVR and the DVR will not turn on because guess what? A, magic, a DVR will not magically stop functioning after we test it and pack it and it gets to you. The reason is you use the wrong power supply. So please make sure you don't do that. If your DVR is no longer turning on and you don't see this light, that means it's been fried and voided its warranty. And that's how we ensure by recording our DVRs during prep time to make sure they were working when they got shipped out. We video record them, we test them, and that's how we ensure that we are sending a working product and when someone gets it and they accidentally damage it, we know that they did that. And that's how this data is used to ensure that DVRs are being powered correctly and their warranty is not voided by user error or negligence. If user error and negligence are not covered by the product's limited warranty against manufacturing defects. The other thing you can do to check is if the DVR is turning on, besides the fan turning on, the light turning on, forget the beeps, connect the mouse to the front or the back and it'll turn on. Some DVRs that have a USB port in the front, you connect the mouse to the front, not the back. The back USB port is meant for then a flash drive. Some DVRs that are white colored only have USB ports on the back. You can connect the mouse in them. The other way is if you've got a working router or switch that you know definitely works, it's not some home router or switch that you just bought. If you connect it to the back, it'll actually light up. So right now I should just connect the power from mine, but once I connect power again, you'll see those lights light up on it like so. That'll only work if you have a working switch or router, like I have right here. Hopefully this helps you understand why a DVR will not work and how to troubleshoot it and ensure it is in working order. The last thing you can do is, if for some reason, in the off chance, the power supply that comes with it stops working after some time of use, or it just happens to be a bad power supply, you can actually look at the output of the power supply. It says 12 volt, two amp. This is center positive. This is a DC power supply. You have to use DC current. If you have another 12 volt of the same amperage, two amps or more, you can try to power the DVR and see if it's turning on. Thanks for watching.